I heard. This is gonna feel odd, but I'll definitely give uh, my two cents on the matter. At least I'll try. It's been a while. Who would have thought this would have happened, though? Because it certainly wasn't me. <sighs> All right. I'll see you around. All right, peace. Do I even begin? Here I come! Come on! Give up already! Whoa! Oh my god! Guys, the sense of irony I'm feeling right now is kinda unbelievable. This is both oddly nostalgic, motivating, and sad at the same time. Don't get it twisted. When I say sad, I mean the reality of the situation and how the fan base is in shambles, understandably so. When I say that it's motivating, I mean the fact that the fans were very vocal about this decision for Toys for Bob. And when I say that it's oddly nostalgic, I think it's nostalgic because of the fact that my YouTube channel grew off of the fact that the Crash series was dead at one point, prior to 2016. And now the series is... supposedly dead, or at, not at a great spot right now. I don't think what I'm gonna say is gonna apply to everyone, but what I wanna make clear, as cliche as this may sound, is that the more people that are continuing to support the Crash series to keep the name alive keeps this franchise far from dead. I understand the validity of keeping a series alive by producing licensed content and releasing it to the masses, but try to think constructively or carefully if you all want to make some type of good out of this. When the Crash series' return was revealed in 2016, the Insane Trilogy was successful in 2017, the series was then capitalized in 2019 with Nitro Fueled, and then the series peaked in nostalgia with Crash 4 It's About Time in 2020, and lastly that was on the run this year. It became clear to me that Activision wanted to make as much bank as possible with the series at the rate that it's going. And to be honest, this happening doesn't surprise me too much, but that doesn't mean it's not disappointing. The shift in work for Toys for Bob definitely stings as the character designer straight up confirms that the studio will be working on COD only, but here it says that Activision denied the downsizing and staff for Toys for Bob, and here it states that Toys for Bob as the lead dev on Crash 4 are willing to deliver gameplay experiences for fans now and in the future. So, are they talking about delivering game experiences specifically for Crash 4? Does that imply DLC? Does that imply the Wumpa League thing that was rumored to be in development? Or does that imply COD, since Toys for Bob are now going to be working on Call of Duty? Well, the character artist is gone, along with a lot of others who worked on Crash 4. We all know what happened to Vicarious Visions, so what happens now? I don't know. But, if you still support the Crash series, keep playing and supporting the games. Man, you never know, maybe a dev could get back onto the series and it can blossom into something greater than we've seen. But this is Activision, and what this tells me is that they've gotten what they wanted out of Crash. It's only a matter of time before the fog clears completely, and it still kind of sucks that the series is in this limbo or halt or death, I, I guess. I I'm not sure if he'll even make it to Smash Brothers at this point, 
And if that is the case, that's pretty unfortunate and a huge, huge missed opportunity. And if he does get in, then that may be the last time we'll see him in the spotlight outside of what Activision's done to the studios that brought him back in the first place. No matter which way you look at it, Crash isn't in a good spot right now. I just hope the fans can get some proper closure or clarity, but until then, that's that.